countryside. Early on, the state requires a county to have a county seat. How about that? Mm. <laughs> and, and, they, and they first write it back when back when Lowndes County was as big as Poland. About ten camp portions of ten counties came out. This was considered the, the central spot. And so this would have been the trailings of Troopville. It mainly would have centered up near where y'all entered in the boat land. Uh, mainly because this is all flood plain and it ended up the town was too. But it was named for Governor Troop. This was here only about 15 miles from Florida, which was not during some of this period a part of the United States. So uh, uh, Governor Troop was, uh, was into protecting what was considered the United States, even even uh, uh, the wild lands out here. And believe it or not, in this part of Georgia, everybody here is 1733 Savannah. And uh, in eight, there was not a census in this area until 1820. And the population of current Lowndes County in 1820 was zero. <laughs> uh, so, so, so that shows you what shows you if you were out here you were stuck out in the woods yeah. but yeah. anyway it was a very viable town they did develop schools uh, uh, it was very wild to begin with they said it was so bad it was as wild it was so wild it was as bad as Hawkinsville you know never <laughs> and but but it developed but when the railroad came from Savannah which uh, was going to change everything in South Georgia and of course South Georgia got the railroad last yeah but we're still used to that yeah, really. <laughs> but it, <laughs> it's our trademark but uh, when the railroad was coming through from Savannah it got here in 1860 but the only town it would go to was Thomasville the only town with enough clout that the railroad went to it and it got there uh, the railroad up to Thomasville about two days after Fort Sumter in South Carolina, the Civil War. Wow. But because the railroad would not go to Troopville, uh, they decided they had to move the town to the railroad. In Troopville, one of his estates was called Valdosta after the Italian province. And so Troopville remained for, you know, a remnant of people for several decades. but. The people moved four miles to establish Valdosta, which the name still honored Governor Trump, mm -hmm. to be on the railroad and to start towards economic development that everyone hopes for. Yeah. But it was called a very beautiful town, and you can see why. Oh, yeah, I and, imagine uh, it was gorgeous. Rather than just being pine forest, when you get near the, the rivers, you have uh, uh, all the wild magnolia, cypress by the rivers, and all so. <coughs> They said it actually was a, a, a pleasant looking village. So. But it was that but Troopville would not have lasted because when we had these major floods it would have had a it would have gotten washed somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the railroad might have done Troopville a Yeah, really? it did them a favor, yeah. So it didn't establish <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Uh there's a line drawing map. Some, some elderly right. soul, and I don't think they bit. They found it in the 1930s. With the over there. Is that well? That's why I want to paddle into it. That yeah. way, we're. Mm -hmm.